Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to create a Glassmorphic login form just like this over right here or even a contact form using Elementor. And obviously, we'll add just like one line of CSS and we have something as beautiful as this. So in case this is something that you like, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Back inside our Elementor dashboard, under pages, I'll create a new page. I'll name it as contact form. I'll edit with Elementor. I'll add a section. It's going to be a three column section having a minimum height of VH100. And under style for the section, I'll come to the background type gradient. I'll add a gradient for now. Now we'll come back here to our widgets and look up for our form widget from Elementor. Drag it into the middle column, select the widget, and as you see over right here, you can add as many other items that you want. For example, text, email field, telephone field, phone number field, but that's not what I want to look into right now. We are simply going to concentrate on the styling of this form so that we can achieve the glassmorphic effect. Under style, we're going to first of all increase the row gap to 25. Text color is going to turn to white. Under field, we're going to turn the text color to white as well. And typography, we'll change this to poppins. We'll give it a border color of white as well. And it will be one point. And the border radius will be 10 pixels. That's how we are achieving that we have these rounded borders on our form. For the button, we're going to change the typography as well to poppins. We change the background color to white and we change the text color to black. We'll change the border radius to 35. Under hover, we'll change the background color to this color. Here is the color code. So we have something like this. All right, so now we don't want to show the labels, but we want to show the placeholder text. So how do we do that? Under content, we are going to hide the labels. And under style and under fill option, there is a background color, which is white, but we're going to make that to be a little bit transparent. We can as well make it completely transparent. I'll select my column, come to advanced, and I'll give it padding. I'll first of all unlink the values and the top padding is 70. Right padding is 30. Bottom 70. And left also 30. And I'll go to the style option and a border. I'll give it a solid border of 2 pixels with a color of white. And we are going to give it a border radius of 35. Beautiful. There we have our contact form. If 35 looks a little bit too much, you can make it like a 25. That looks good. And now we'll add this animated blob. It can be another shape that you want to add in the background. But for me, I want this animated blob. I'll select the section and a layout. I'll come down below here to the blob generator. This is a feature that is provided by the premium add-ons for Elementor. I'll enable that. I'll add the item. And uh, I'll say create my own blob. So I'll make it to have seven nodes. And randomness will stay five. The size will be 400. And under fill, I'm going to make it to be a gradient. And that's how we have our gradient over here. We can choose the gradient color by changing the color codes over here. And under horizontal offset, I'll make this to be 29. And vertical offset will be 10. And we want to animate our blob. Beautiful. And of course, we can hide this blob on a device. For example, desktop, tablet, or mobile. Now you see that our blob is at the front of our contact form. We don't want that. So how do we move it to the back? We're going to scroll up here and we'll change the Z index from one to zero. Now let's look into how this looks like in the preview. 
awesome. Now let's add our magic, the glassmorphic effect on this contact form. We will have to select the column, we're going to come to advanced, and down here in the custom CSS option, we will add this small line of code. And that small line of code reads that for this selected element, we are going to add a backdrop filter and it's going to be a blur of 10 pixels. You can make it 15 or you can even make it a little bit lesser, let me say for about 7 pixels. I'll make it to stay 10 pixels. Alright, now we have our glassmorphic effect on our contact form. Now if I'm to preview this, oh beautiful. The other thing I have to mention is that if you want to add custom CSS to Elementor, you should have Elementor Pro. So if you consider getting Elementor Pro, please use my affiliate link right down in the description of this video. That way I'll earn a small commission and I'll be able to make more videos just like this on the channel. In our preview, you realize that I have a background that is actually having different shades of a color. There is this color over here and then there is this other color over here and there is this other color over here. So in other words, we have more than a three-pointer gradient. You realize that if you're using Elementor, you don't have the option to choose a three-point color gradient. We only have two options, the first color and the second color. So to be able to add that kind of gradient, we'll have to use again some custom code for our main section. So I'll come over here and remove all these colors that we added, all this gradient. And I'm going to come to the advanced option. I'll scroll down to the custom CSS option. And under here, I'll add a custom CSS that is going to give a gradient for our section. You can use the CSS gradient tool to generate or even just copy a CSS to your Elementor to use a gradient of your choice, just like you see over here. In this case, I'll select the first gradient and I have even the option to change the rotation or how that gradient is running. For example, now I change it to 45 degrees and I can as well add another color. If I'm happy with this, I'll just copy the CSS over here come back into my Elementor editor and advance in the custom CSS option. I will add the selector and then I'll paste in my gradient CSS. Now we have our more than two pointer gradient. I'll now simply publish. And this is how now our contact form looks like. Beautiful, having our glassmorphic effect. If we are to look into responsive options of this contact form, looks fine on the tablet. Let's see how it looks like on the mobile. Right now on the mobile, we need to add some padding, but we'll add that padding to the main section. Select the main section, come to advanced, and we'll unlink the values. We'll add a padding on the left and the right hand side of 20 pixels and 20 pixels. Now we have our form responsive on the mobile devices. So you can use the same trick and procedure to create a login form page which is glassmorphic just like this over here or any other page no matter what it is it will still work out well so if i return into my editor i'll just simply duplicate this section i'll come over here to the widgets grab my login widget add it into the column i'll select the already styled form i'll copy i'll come up over here and i'll paste the styling Beautiful. I'll select the form and I'll first of all hide the labels. In case you want to change as well the gradient, you can just simply come back here to the gradient, grab a CSS of your choice, come back, select your section under advanced, custom CSS. I'll delete this and replace it with what I have now. All right, so all looks good with our form, but we can do even something to make it more fun and give it more depth. To do that, we are going to add a small shadow on our column borders. Back to our editor, select the column, under style, border, we are going to give it a border shadow. And voila, looks way better. I'll update, come look at our preview, beautiful. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the tutorial, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. In case you want to see more of these kind of videos, let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.